Welcome to beautiful Oxford. It's a gorgeous day and we are here at the Country Club ready for the Women's Expo 2016. We're going to go on inside. We're going to see all the wonderful vendors and talk to a lot of really great people, all for a great cause. Fun! Well, here we are, and I'm with the ladies from McLaren. So let's get some introductions. Your name? Lynette Smith, director at Oxford. And? Andrea Mercer, manager for radiology at Oxford. Wonderful. So this is the reason why we're all here, and great things going on. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your table, and of course, the whole expo. So the so we're here to support mammograms, and um, McLaren does a has a program, the Sister and Sister program, that does free mammograms for the underinsured or no insurance. Um, so we we uh, give free mammograms to um, anyone that needs them. That's wonderful. That's really great to hear. A lot of people need these. So this is where you come in, you're working in radiology. That's right, and we offer the service at all of our McLaren locations. We offer it in our Oxford location, Pontiac, and we have two sites in Clarkston where we offer the service as well to patients. Well, this is really great news. So how do ladies find out about this? Um, all they have to do is call either our main hospital scheduling department or any of our off-sites. We have an eligibility screening program that we do, and if the patient meets the criteria, then they're enrolled into the Sister and Sister Foundation program. Okay, that's good to hear. What do you have going on here at the booth? Are you just like, signing people up or getting some information for them? Yes, and we have um, all of our services at McLaren we have at, at our table, and we also are doing uh, drawing for four Pistons tickets on us. So if you guys want to put in for it, have at it. But, um, and Michelle is from my cardiology department and we do cardiac rehab as well at Oxford and she runs that program, so. Okay, well it's really great to have you ladies here and I know that you've put a lot of work into getting this whole expo going. So what, what was the hardest part about putting this together this year? Um, you're just a well-oiled machine at this point. Yeah. We've, we've been here every year, so and we are, we're very thankful that the chamber uh, does the uh, luxury raffle so that people can get mammograms that are unable to, you know, that don't have insurance. So it's great for the chamber to do that. Okay, well, thank you, ladies. We're going to let you get back to it, spreading the good word, making sure you get down here and talk to these nice ladies or give them a call, like you said, if you need to get signed up for this Sister Sister program. Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. And what's your name? Mark Spencer. Mark Spencer, and this is Spencer Aviaries, is that what I'm seeing? Aviaries, yes. Right. Tell me a little bit about your business. Uh, we keep hives out in the uh, Leonard, Oakland Township area. We have about 20 hives right now, and we produce honey, lip balms, uh, we're going to be doing candles soon, and we take care of bees. Uh, keep growing more hives, the business keeps growing each year, and. Uh, they're at a farm right now where next year we're hoping to have about 40 hives. That's wonderful. And whether most people know this or not, I'm sure you do, buying local honey is the best for your health. Yes. Uh, trying to get as close to your home as you can is good, for, especially for pollen sufferers and that. And getting raw honey is good. That's honey that hasn't been overly processed or overheated. And we're also certified naturally grown, which is like an organic standard that you can apply towards honey, and we're only one of two in the state. That's wonderful. So are your bees doing well? Are they healthy? Yeah, they're pretty healthy. I mean, they struggle and we got to fight to keep them around just like a lot of the beekeepers do right now. But they did pretty well this year, though. That's always positive news because the bees are a big concern for everyone right now. Yes, they are. So what's your most popular product? Obviously your honey, but is there a particular one? 
Uh, today has been probably these, which are in the mason jars. It's like, it's uh, 22 ounces of honey and it's in like a mason jar with a handle. Okay, so anything specially here that you know, maybe other places don't have? They were certified that it's raw. Uh, most places don't have the mooth jars, which sell pretty well as well. And we have a wide variety of sizes. The lip balms are made from the wax that we get from our hives. And it's just made with really pure natural ingredients. And uh, it's just good for you stuff that's healing and tastes good too. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thanks for being out here today and introducing your company to everyone. If you haven't seen them before, come on down and give them a look. Thank you. <laughs> This is very, very beautiful. May I ask your name? Sure, my name is Debbie Shays, and um, the name of my company is Snap Zip Clip, and I sell high-end costume jewelry, affordably priced, and I'm a traveling boutique. Gorgeous, what's your most popular item today? You know, I sell a lot of the bracelets. I do make the bracelets, they're handmade bracelets. They're Michigan themed, Detroit themed, and I have some professions and some holidays, so I sell a ton of those. Great gift for $25 or $20. Yeah, those are very, very pretty. Um, pretty much the gloves, the pink gloves, they sell very well. Today, everything's in the pink. Sure, sure. Well, I hope you do really well today. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This event is put on mostly to help raise money for breast cancer awareness. We would like to, at this time, thank everyone for being here, but most importantly, honor a wonderful woman in our Oxford community. This year, we would like to honor Andrea Shimon. Andrea and her husband, Joe, are residents of the Oxford community. Andrea, a mother of four, was diagnosed with triple positive breast cancer at the age of 35. At this time, she was working as a dental assistant and lost her job after her diagnosis. She has undergone 16 rounds of chemotherapy and is currently recovering from a bilateral mastectomy. She is still facing reconstructive surgery and possible radiation. She is responsible for her two children, Jade and Paige, and she also has taken custody Lamaya and Jackson. She took custody of Lamaya and Jackson three years ago when her sister passed away unexpectedly. She remains positive in the face of tremendous adversity. With her spirit in it, she's a true inspiration to us all. We honor her courage and we honor her courage and um, all the obstacles that she encounters on a daily basis. Again, I want to thank everyone for being here, but this is truly the purpose for this event, to help raise money to stop breast cancer. And on behalf of the Oxford Chamber, and on behalf of Ageless Salon, Valor Salon, Myers of Oxford, 24th Street, J Jewelers, for their, we want to thank them for their generous donation and to say that we are very, very excited that you are here. And if there's anything the Chamber can ever do for you, we're here for you. And again, thank you for being here. Again, thank you, everybody. Thank you again for being here. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good. What's your name, please? I'm Laurel Droz. Amanda Davis. So tell me, what business are you here with? We are here with Jay Jewelers of Oxford. We're in the Oxford Mills Plaza. We're behind Jimmy John's between Guido's and Tammy's. Right. Look at that. Perfect commercial. <laughs> How's it going today? It's going well, thank you. I see this wonderful sign behind you. Can you tell us a little bit behind, about what this is? It's, it's great. A Mother's Wish is such a great local organization. It benefits women and families in Oakland County impacted by breast cancer. It donates money to local families, and that is what we are doing here today is donating 20% from all of our pink or infinity jewelry to this cause. Um, sometimes when you give to bigger charities, it can be hard to keep track of exactly where it's going, but with this, because it is so local, we can keep track of exactly who it's benefiting. And it is amazing, I've heard, to see these women when they get this money 
the difference it can make to them and their families, and we are so thrilled to be supporting them and to be helping women right here in Oakland County. And we'll be doing this for the whole month of October, so if you can't make it out to the Women's Expo till 5 today, stop into Jay Jewelers, and through the month of October, we'll still be donating 20% of anything that we sell with Pink or Infinity to this wonderful charity. Thank you. Wow, great ambassadors for the community ladies. Thank you so much for a wonderful program and good luck today and have a good time. Okay, something smells amazingly good over here. What do we have? We have uh, essential oils and this is actually uh, Christmas spirit so it kind of smells like Christmas right now. But um, these are all therapeutic medicinal grade oils and um, they're really good for you and this is kind of what I do for a living. <laughs> all right, well what's your name? Kelly Proctor. Kelly, and this is uh, Young's Living, right? Young Living Essential Oils. We are based in Utah, and uh, we have our own farms, our own distilleries, all our own, uh, everything is done in-house, so everything is pure therapeutic grade and medicinal grade, and you can actually ingest them and do aromatherapy with them, and they're just awesome. So at this time of the year, is there anything that's like more popular aside from maybe Christmas? Yes, Thieves right now is really popular because it boosts your immune system and it um, helps with all of those, that season coming up and so we I use that a lot. I put it on the bottom of my feet every day. It helps with the immune system and all that kind of thing. So, Wow, so there's a lot more to this than just smelling this beautiful aroma. Absolutely, there's a lot more to it. There's uh, so many things you can do with the oils, so yeah, come on and check it out. Okay, all right, well thank you so much for being here. This smells great and I know this is a really popular product, so thanks a lot. Hi, look at all this beautiful stuff. Oh, thank you so much, I have fun with it. Tell me your name, please. I'm Diane Harris. Hi, Diane. Hi. So is this all stuff that you've made? I, I did, I it's made all great. of it. Yes, I have fun with it. I retired um, from a stressful job about 10 years ago and I went, decided I wanted to have some fun. Well, good for so you. So I'm doing this, this is like a cheap therapy for me. <laughs> So what's, what's popular today? Obviously the fall arrangements maybe? Oh yeah, you know, everybody is looking at the Halloween stuff Halloween. right now. There yeah, okay. everybody's looking at that guy. This is my little spider. Everybody's... He's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's got a couple of eyes on it. So the kids really like this. That's really cute. <laughs> so I just have fun with this. And um, I've got a couple more shows coming up while I will be focusing on Christmas things. Oh, I would imagine that's going to be yeah. very popular as well. Mm -hmm. So are, are, are ladies really being receptive to you today? Very much so. Okay, well, good very luck to you. So. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here and Thank bringing you. your beautiful product. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, it's never too early or too late to start thinking about wedding information, and you're the gal to see here, right? Yes. What's your name? Anne Marie. Marie, and you're with Oakland Wedding Chapel? Oakwood Wedding Oakwood. Chapel, yes. Okay. Tell us about it. We're in Oxford. We're located on Baldwin Road, just north of Seymour Lake Road, south of Oakwood. It's the old Oakwood Community Church. We do weddings, receptions, tuxedos, invitations. We're located on four acres. We just started doing funerals as well. So we work with local funeral homes. So then everyone could have their funeral in the um, sanctuary. And Pastor Bob, who used to be the minister at Oakwood Community Church, does majority of them. And then we can have the luncheon downstairs. We know Pastor Bob. Yes, we love Pastor Bob. Who couldn't? <laughs> so are, are you being well received here today? A lot of ladies are interested? We are, yes. Actually, I've gotten quite a few good turnouts, and um, I'm excited to see how the results are. So. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for bringing down your business and supporting Oxford and all these wonderful women. Great, thank you so much. Hi ladies, how are you? Hey, how are you? Right, let's get some introductions here. I'm Tina. Tina with Moji Life. And I'm Allison with Moji Life. What is Moji Life? I have no idea. Great question. Moji Life is a brand new approach to home fragrances. Uh, we don't use waxes, we don't use oils, we don't use water, we don't use hot light bulbs. What Moji Life uses is a wood fiber wick that contains a fragrance. In each wood fiber wick, will last up to 40 to 60 hours of continuous use. And the device itself is called an air emoji and they come in white and black. And once you charge the air emoji, it'll last for up to 20 hours of continuous use. And then if you choose to decorate it, you can purchase home decor and put home decor on top of your air emoji. Wow, well this is this is brand new. It's awesome. Brand new company. We're only the second we're the second and third consultant in the state of Michigan. And the company actually is soft launching next month 
they won't be launching nationally until 2017. Okay, so what is the what is the fragrance come from? Um, is it an oil? No, it's in the wood. Yes, there's essential oils. And there's fragrances. They're all um, formulated in in Europe by fragrancers that have over 25 years of experience in the industry. And then they also have a natural line of cleaning products as well. Okay, so something smells really, really good. What would you say is like the most popular right now? They have fr brand new fall scents that are popular. I love the French vanilla. French vanilla, is that kind of what I'm smelling? Yeah. This is one of the fall scents. Oh, that smells really good. Here's French vanilla. This one's a little strong. This is yeah, good. that's nice. So how does how, how does it work? Is that is that like a battery operated charge? It's n n no batteries, you oh. just charge it. It was really neat. Oh, a USB charge. Okay, I see. And it actually has three different settings. So one setting is just turning it on for continuous use. The second setting will turn it on and off, on for an hour, off for an hour. And then the third setting allows you to program with your smartphone, which is really wow. cool. Wow. Very techie company. Yeah. That is cool. So this is actually really great. You could charge it at home and then throw it in your purse and take it to work with you. Yes. Yep. Like or anywhere. In my case, I have um, boys that play hockey, and I have stinky hockey equipment in my car. <laughs> so I put it in the cup holder in the car, and it helps to diffuse the odors. That's really, really nice. So you've got, um, you, you mentioned the pumpkin and the vanilla. I see a peppermint. What else do you have? They have essential oils, which are grade A therapeutic essential oils. They're coming out with a holiday line that's not quite out yet. We have sweet pea, lemon, lavender, eucalyptus. Voodoo, pomegranate. And the essential oils are, um, you, told, you just mentioned they're grade A, right? I think each one of these essential oil wicks contains 15 milliliters of essential oil, too. And the little samples are little wood wicks, too. Those are very oh, cool. cute. They're pretty cool. Well, welcome to town. I'm so glad that Thank we got you. a chance to get an introduction to your company. We, appreciate it. we really do, because nobody knows about us. So well, that's I certainly did. The reward, so that's... <laughs> That's great. We really okay, so, you know, we welcome Moji Life to Oxford, and thanks for being here today, ladies. Well, welcome to Coos Creations. What's your name? My name is Heather Coos. Heather Coos. This is really unique stuff. Tell me about it. Uh, well, these are tiki torches, and uh, you can fill them with citronella fluid or tiki fluid or even lamp oil. Um, make for fantastic gifts. I have never seen anyone else do anything like this, so if you buy them for a gift, I can guarantee no one will ever have one just like it. Uh, everything's hand-painted by yours truly. Uh, a lot of it is very intricate work, so like this is completely painted using a toothpick. So it's very fine, time-intensive work, takes a few hours to do. Like this one takes two to three hours to do, just that. So it's, it's a labor of love. It's, it keeps me out of trouble, though. Well, you know, it looks like just wrapping the bottles alone would take you quite some time. It does. It's, it's, it's a long process from start to finish, if you consider, you know, collecting the bottles, you know, drinking the bottles, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, cleaning the bottles, twining the bottles. Uh, I make all my own templates and... Uh, use a razor blade to cut them all out, so I make everything myself, and I spend a lot of time sitting at my dining room table painting. All right, well, just curious, if I fill this up with, like, a citronella oil, how long would the whole bottle last for burning? Actually, it lasts quite a while, uh, and, of course, you can just refill it. Um, I use fiberglass wicks instead of cotton, so the fiberglass itself does not burn. It just burns the fluid as compared to a cotton, which you have to replace the cotton wick itself. So it actually lasts quite a long time. It would take... Uh, well, probably a few days to burn through the entire bottle of the fluid. Okay. Well, great unique product. I'm so glad that we were able to see you here today. Yes. Are you being well received? I am. Everyone absolutely loves it. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. And Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks. I will. You too. And then also, too, please check out all of our different taste of Oxford. You know? We have Victoria's Delight. She's serving hot cider. We have... Hi, I'm Janae Sigler. Janae. I'm Samantha. Samantha. 
Samantha. I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth. How is it going today? This is a great booth. What do you have going on? We got a bunch going on. We've got uh, pink hair extensions. Um, and we have got our little updo bands. Um, we've got some super stocking stuffers over here. Okay, Little Birdie told me that you guys have some kind of, uh, like, I don't know, magic sparkles for your hair. We do have magic sparkles for your hair. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Just spray it all over. Yeah, most of. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. It's sparkly. <laughs> so I, I would imagine with Halloween, that's probably really popular right now. Absolutely. Absolutely, and like with prom and uh, you know homecomings that just happened, spark sparkles are always in. And color, obviously color is very popular. Everyday usage, it's great. <laughs> pink, pink. Um, every one of these is going towards towards uh, breast cancer awareness, so. All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you girls very soon, I'm sure. These are my ladies. This is my salon, and I love them all very much. So thank you for coming down <laughs> and supporting all the women here in Oxford. Welcome to Beatsy. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Autumn Dachowski. Hi, Autumn, and this is your business here. Yes, um, I make cards for people in recovery. Right now, I just do it out of my home but eventually I'd like to get it out there and I can do special orders as of now. Um, I've got a website that's gonna be up and it's pretty much inspirational, um, celebrating the small victories um, of everybody's daily struggles and the things that society doesn't really talk about, depression, addiction, suicide awareness, anything mental health that I really wanted to pull out for the people going through it and struggling with it because it's real and going through it on my own, I, I kind of found my purpose and this is kind of just what it's turned into. So I'm really well, excited. That's a great story and, and the, the kind of situation that you would really want a personal touch for. Yes, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about the process of making one of these cards. Um, in a nutshell, it's like scrapbooking, pretty much. But um, they're very comforting and made from my heart. And I just hope everybody loves them. And it's so very multimedia. You just kind of get an idea and you start adding to it and building on it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well, they're beautiful, and I hope you get very very popular here today thank you I'm excited well, tell me about this amazing food that I'm eating well today we're doing some demos at the women's expo I've demoed a ham cheddar and apple quesadilla uh, it's a record year for Michigan apples, so I want to take advantage of the harvest, and also they're a good value. Um, I'm not a big sweet eater, so I like apples in a lot of my savory things. Well, it's wonderful, and you're getting a lot of business here today? Yeah, we also have a cran apple tea. We've made hot mold cider, mixed it two part cider, one part black tea, and one part cranberry juice. Kind of a little spin on uh, hot mold cider. Okay, so tell me about the restaurant and all of your business ventures. How are they going? Oh, everything's going well. Keeps me very busy as <laughs> usual. Um, you have classes again? Classes again. Our next class, I believe, is Gifts from the Kitchen in November, followed by our soup class, which is one of our most uh, popular classes. We're doing our classes out at our location in Goodison, Orion Road, across from the Paint Creek Cider Mill. Also, we have some really fun stuff in Oxford. November 6th, we have a Blake Cider uh, cider wine dinner, or cider dinner, hard cider. We're having Blake's come out, and we have uh, five courses, five ciders, and that's on a Sunday afternoon. Kind of apple palooza, I've called it. The celebration of the apple here for, for the last month. Apple everything. Well, fall is a great time for Victoria's, as well as any other time of the year, of course. But you got to stop by and check out her wonderful food. It's delicious. Yeah, isn't it good? So I'm a little different. I like it with brie, too. Let's start, start from the beginning. <laughs> Animal Clay Backs for Mills, and what we have available right now is we have uh, lean treats. They're really healthy, low-fat dog treats and cat treats. Um, we have uh, pet odor eliminator candles. Those are really nice. And we're also holding a raffle, and the raffle tickets are $5. Um, all the proceeds are going to get donated to Michigan Humane Society. 
And what people can win is they can choose either the cat basket or the dog basket. Um, but the dog basket includes a free heartworm test and also 12 months of Sentinel heartworm preventative. So, and that's from you guys down at the animal clinic. Yes. Yep. All right. So, is there anything new down at the clinic that you want to shout out as well? Um, we are really excited. We've been doing this for a couple of years now, but we um, actually can offer a free vaccines for life program. And so we are a full service clinic, but we also, um, if, if folks are interested, they can enroll their pet. Um, they just pay an enrollment fee, and then just for the cost of an exam once a year, they get their pet's vaccines complete, you know, included in that. So well, pets additional for vaccines, dogs and cats. Our pets are our family, so it's great that you're here, and you know, good products to have for yeah. everybody. Sure, absolutely. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? And you're Greg. I am. I'm Greg from the Curtis Agency in the Village. And tell us about what you're doing here today. Well, we're uh, one of the sponsors of the event through the Chamber. So we're here to support uh, breast cancer awareness and help help raise some funds for that. And just uh, have our name out in the community and hope everybody's having a good day. Okay, so what, what's been the popular question today? Uh, we've had a few questions about life insurance. And of course, people are interested in health insurance because everybody has to renew for January the 1st. So there are a lot of questions at this time of year about that. Okay. Well, it's anything new on the insurance horizon that people really need to know because, you know, it does change every year. Uh, especially with health insurance, it does. It's just, it's always important to look at, uh, at your plan every year and, uh, and make sure you have the right thing at the right price. Okay, so if you have questions like that for the upcoming year, you could probably answer them for them. Absolutely. Just give us a call at the agency. Well, thanks for being a sponsor today. It's been a really great day for these ladies here and all of the uh, events going on. So thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we're here with the ladies from the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. Let's get some introduction. Hi, I'm Debbie Uren, and I'm the president of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. Hi, I'm Amy Desatel. I work with Nicole in the Chamber. Okay, and? I'm Nicole Sturrett. I'm the executive director at the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. Well, we've had a great day here today, haven't we, ladies? Oh, it's been a wonderful turnout. I think it's very exciting. I think it's for a great cause. So far today, we've had over 300 women walk through our doors, and we're only halfway through the day. That's fantastic. Yes. What, 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 tell me about your baskets. These are awesome. These baskets were all donated by local businesses. They took the time to prepare them, get them together for us, and everybody's putting in bids. It says like a silent auction, and you can win some wonderful prizes from Atchett's Pie all the way to salons. There's even places that are offering one night stay, Urban Air's offering a free party to kids, up to 10 kids. So the community's really rallied together to make this a great event. This has been fantastic. You've got a lot of new vendors, a lot of old vendors. People have been here every year. Yes. Of course, McLaren offering their wonderful program. Yes, yes. And just like you said, a lot of women have come through. Can you like shout out for next year? Because I'm sure people are going to be sorry they missed this. I think that this year we changed it to a Sunday. We all rallied together at the chamber and we thought, you know what, we always have this during the week. But I think having it on the weekend, we kind of grasped a broader audience. And we actually had to turn people away on the last day because we had already sold out every vendor booth and I've talked to all the vendors we have a lot of returning a lot of new vendors we've had people join the chamber so this has been very exciting and I think next year it's gonna be only be bigger and better that's great great to hear hey you want to shout out like your favorite thing from today Anything? oh just the Chinese raffle has been great everybody's loved all the different baskets and then just all the vendors and the food the food's been fabulous Victoria Celtic knot all our chamber members have helped out so much. It's been a lot of fun. All right. Well, thank you so much, ladies. It has been a great day. Good luck with the rest of the day as well. And, you know, we'll see you again next year. Oh, most definitely. We look forward to doing this. And we always partner up with McLaren because this is for a great cause. This is the reason we do this is to raise breast cancer awareness and to definitely help find a cure. Okay. Well, thanks again and have a great day.